At the beginning of the last century, aeronautics caught the eye of all progressive mankind. Enthusiasts who had been building flimsy structures out of cloth and sticks in home barns quickly learned how to create stably flying structures. The addition of compact internal combustion engines created a new reality. All the major powers rushed to build airplanes and explore their possibilities. One of the first Russian aeronautics fans was Petr Nesterov. He was the first in the world to show by his own example the importance of thorough mastering of the material parts and developing flight skills. Contemporaries claim that Peter spent almost more time in the airplane than on the ground. At that time horizontal flight with unhurried turns, like on a cart, was considered the norm for airplanes. Any extraneous activity of pilots was suppressed, because imperfect aircraft tended to stall if they made a piloting mistake. It was Nesterov who, by his own example, showed the possibility of risky, but effective piloting for airplanes. The dead loop, or Nesterov loop, is not just a spectacular stunt or the world's first aerobatics figure. It was this figure that first fighters shook off opponents from their tails. Nesterov had many other aviation innovations in his piggy bank he was the first in the world to practice night takeoffs and landings. For night reconnaissance he began using acetylene spotlight. In the First World War he carried out a precise bombardment of Austrian enemy positions with specially modified artillery shells the Austrians declared a reward for his head. He developed the theory of the air ram, the planes of that time were not armed at first. Unfortunately, the first air ram in the world ended fatally for Pyotr Nesterov. The pilot tried to ram an Austrian spy, who was annoying the Russian troops, with the wheels of his airplane. But something went wrong, both planes collapsed on the ground and crashed, parachutes for pilots had not been invented yet. 